Uh, Drew Dennis is with us, the executive director of the 25th Annual Vancouver Queer Film Festival. Thanks for being here again. Nice yeah, to see you. Nice to see you again, Steve. Now, I can tell you that um, 25 years, it's incredible to, to see where the festival has uh, started from with just a couple of films now to, I think it's the second largest film festival in, in Canada. It's incredible. That's correct. Second largest film festival in Vancouver. In Vancouver, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know that we can take credit yet for all of Canada, <laughs> but maybe one day we'll get there. That'll sure. be the next 25 years. Exactly. Yeah. So talk about the beginning of this festival? Yeah, sure. We just had a knockout uh, opening gala last night, sold out audience. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, with everything that's happening in Russia right now, uh, we decided we wanted to do something to show our support uh, for gays and lesbians in Russia. Right. So a little bit impromptu, we hosted a kiss-in kiss uh, with 700 participants at the Vancouver Playhouse last night. Wow. Uh, that's a whole lot of kissing. People can check out the action. There you go. There's a yeah. The hashtag global kissing or hashtag festies. Uh, it was pretty. It was pretty awesome. They said 700 people. 700 people. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of kissing. Well, good for you guys. It's good. good for you. Uh, let's talk about the festival now. Sure. And as we mentioned, there there's six different venues. So where where can people see the films to begin with? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we opened last night at the Vancouver Playhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, we're running uh, straight through until August 25th at International Village Cinemas. Okay. Uh, we also do some stuff at Van City Theatre, that's the International Film Festival Centre, mm -hmm. and a new venue for us this year, SFU, uh, the Gold oh, Corp okay. Arts Centre, SFU nice. Woodwards. Yeah, so okay. it's great. So let's talk about some of the films. Uh, first off, in, in the name of. In the name of, yeah, it just uh, won a prestigious Teddy Award at the Berlin International Film Festival this year. Uh, beautifully intense drama about a Catholic priest. And, of course, as a priest, he's always preaching uh, to other people, to his congregation, right. this idea of we, we need to accept ourselves for who we are because right. God loves us no matter what. Right. And yet what becomes obvious in the film is here he is hiding his own uh, sexuality. Right. So it's a conflict, the inner conflict. Inner conflict, uh, religion and sexuality and kind of how those two things uh, intersect. Okay, and I read a little bit about Love Free or Die, which uh, looks, looks pretty good. Yeah, another film, interestingly yeah. enough, that talks about religion and sexuality and mm -hmm. the intri intricacies of the two. Uh, also, it, it picked up a prize at Sundance uh, right. earlier this year. So another great film, really powerfully intense. Gene Robinson was the first openly gay bishop. Uh, mind you, he wore a bulletproof vest to his consecration. So the film, it's all, I actually found it almost hard to watch at first, just for the harshness right. and the brutality that he faces mm -hmm. uh, continuously, threats against his life. Uh, wow. for his belief mm -hmm. that, uh, that, in fact, we can be who we yeah. are and God that, can still a, love us. It's a docu done in documentary It's form, a documentary, yeah. yeah. Okay, how about the GBF? GBF, a uh, little bit lighter. Yes. <laughs> kind of a mean yeah, girl. one to the other, big time. <laughs> totally on the opposite end of the yeah. spectrum, but a uh, great cast. Uh, Megan Mullally, uh, Mullally yeah. uh, is with it as well. Will and Grace, yeah. Yeah, for Will and Grace, and uh, Natasha Leone from, um, of course, Orange is the New Black, which is what everyone is talking about. Yeah. So, wonderful, charming film, and of course, there's a scene where uh, uh, this is uh, Megan's son, who's coming out to her, so she as a mom, as a supportive mom, sits down with him to watch Brokeback Mountain. Oh, okay. <laughs> Priceless cinematic moment. What does it mean um, to the community when you have someone, uh, a star like a Megan Mullally, who's who's in this type of film that's going to be at, at this festival? I mean, that's it's got to sort of show everyone that, that this is here to stay and now is the time to embrace it. Well, I think so. And as you talk about what's changed over the last 25 years, that wasn't happening 25 years ago. For sure. So An actor would never do that. No. no. And, uh, and so I think... I think it does sort of point to how far we've come, absolutely, and, and here in Canada. I mean, we know that that's not always the case around the world, sure. Russia, other countries as well. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I think it's in incredible. And, and what we know about the film festivals, too, is um, it's this opportunity to nurture uh, independent films as well as bring in some of these Hollywood blockbusters. So. Right. And, it get, and if anything, it, it begins a dialogue once again, which is always important. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's go into Lace Bite, and uh, we've actually shown Lace Bite before, because uh, as we mentioned, Sharon Bates, who works on our show, is a key part of our show, had a big part in filming this and directing and helping along with this. Well, film. yeah, that's right. She co-directed yeah. uh, with her partner, Carmen, and uh, and Mark just was wearing the jersey. So, uh, so yeah, 40 women came together. It's remarkable. My God, you see what they go through. Yeah. They're, and so the, it's consecutive 10 days, like right. very little sleep. There are scenes where they're like, what day is it? They have no idea. They're just so <laughs> yeah. out of it. And this was at an eight ring, so people probably remember because we did quite a bit uh, on our show yeah. from the game. And you're right. What they had to go through just physically 
is amazing. In fact, I talked to one of the players who still has problems today after what they went through with their feet. Oh, yeah. Blisters, yeah. well, lace bite, right? Which is this yeah. shaping from the. There you go. That the, was a good picture. <laughs> oh yeah, they were just exhausted, but they but they kept going. A whole lot of heart, and it's uh, it's fantastic. All right, good. So that's lace bite, and uh, if you want some uh, lace bite uh, info, by the way, uh, that's going to be uh, tomorrow night, August seventeenth at seven p.m. at SVU's Gold Corp Center for the Arts, uh, queerfilmfestival.ca. If you want some more details on the festival, and there's uh, lots more movies as well queerfilmfestival.ca for all the details and uh, uh, Drew, good to have you back and uh, continued success and enjoy the rest of the festival. It uh, looks like it's going exactly where you guys want it to go, right to the top. First day down and look, it's looking good. So right. thank you so much. Thanks a lot. We'll take a quick break. Back in a couple minutes here in the morning news. So